It needs to be understood as this will help us understand the purpose of our creation. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created human beings and what was the purpose of our creation? You know what? Some people think that Khalifa means a king or a ruler. It is not so. The root word of Khalifa is Ho Lam Fa. And it means behind, after, at the back. So actually by the literal translation, Khalifa means a person who stays behind the ruler. In the absence of the ruler, after him, he acts as his subordinate, as a deputy, as an assistant to the actual ruler or the head of the state. So we understand that human beings were created as the wise and as the subordinates of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth. Now, understanding the meaning of the word, we can now understand the purpose of our creation. Man was not created as a ruler of the earth. Man is not the master of all the blessings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses him in, in this world. In this world, man is a wise, a deputy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So like a wise or a subordinate or a deputy, does he exercise his own will? Does he carry out his own desires? No, for sure, because you know that a wise or a deputy obeys the head, the master, the ruler, and he conducts and implements the orders of the head. And as a wise on the earth, so all the bondsmen and all the mankind is supposed to do what? To obey Allah, the master of all masters. And we are hence duty bound to obey Allah and to conduct and to implement the commandments of Allah in our life and in our environment and around us. And uh, so being the wise and the deputies on the earth, we are duty bound to implement the system of Islam, the laws of Quran on the land of Allah. Now, what happened is that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed the angels about the intention of creation of the human beings, the angels commented. And what did the angels say? They said, That Allah, will you create upon the earth a being who will cause corruption and bloodshed? And you know what, what the angels said? Mankind surely did both of these things. And, and human beings have been indulging in corruption and all forms of bloodshed. Now, the question arises, how did the angels happen to know about the activities that human beings will be doing after their creation? And how did the angels get to know all this before the creation of human beings? Did they have the knowledge of the future? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran that alimul ghaib, allamul ghayub is only Allah himself. So how did the angels come to know about the future? You know what? Actually, the state of affairs was that before the creation of human beings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created jinns and they, uh, they were inhabiting their land. And there on the land, the jinns, they used to fight with each other and they used to shed blood. And angels having seen all this happen on the land before the creation of human beings, when they were told that another being was going to be created and sent to the land, they predicted by the mere observation, they interpreted and they predicted that another similar being will be given this, who has been like jinns will be given the right of action, will obviously create a similar corruption of bloodshed. So it was not any knowledge of the future, but it was just a prediction after analyzing the 
prevailing conditions. And uh, we need to remember that Alimul Ghaib and Allah Mul Ghayub is just Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and uh, trying to find out about the future is a form of polytheism. And then the angels further commented, "Nahnu bihamdika wa nuqaddisulak." The angels said that uh, we glorify you and we praise you and we. Uh, we are all the time glorifying you because, you know, the angels are obedient beings and angels are continuously in a state that they are praising and glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are prostrating before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, Prophet sallallahu has taught us the tasbih of the angels. That is the words in which the angels they glorify and they praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The tasbih being what? Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al-azim. So these are the ex excellent words for the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after the angels, they said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are there to praise you and glorify you. What answer did Allah make as a comment? Allah said, inni alamu ma la ta'limu. There is no doubt that I know what you are ignorant of. This meant that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala disapproved of their suggestion. And it clearly also conveys that the purpose of creation of Hazrat Adam alayhi salam and all the mankind was just not that they would go on glorifying and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There was much, much more meant behind the creation of human beings. And what the purpose was, human beings were not just created to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sanctify and glorify, but they were created to implement the system of Allah, the laws of Allah on Allah's land. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all understand the purpose of our creation and fulfill and come up to the mark why we were created.